The FBI has joined the investigation into the Boeing 737 MAX jet as new questions about pilot training are surfacing. Now, David Curley is at Reagan International Airport with the latest. David? Kimberly, quite a bit of news on the investigation. Let's begin with the broader investigation into the certification of the 737 MAXs after these two crashes. The FBI has now joined a Department of Justice investigation. The Department of Transportation is also investigating, and Congress will hold hearings next week on this certification, basically the stamp of approval from the FAA to allow the 737 MAX to fly. Earlier this morning, the Indonesians held a news conference to talk about the cockpit voice recorder, which they have had a chance to analyze now. We knew that the captain was at the controls at takeoff in the first crash, and that he was having trouble immediately with the plane nosing down. This is an anti-stall system, which was getting bad data from a sensor that was put in incorrectly by the Indonesian Lion Air maintenance crews. So the bad data to the computer was nosing down the aircraft. The captain was fighting it several times. In fact, it tried to nose down 21 different times. Now, finally, he gave up the controls to the first officer as the captain was then going through his emergency checklist trying to figure out what was going on. The New York Times reporting that the first officer who was at the controls, some of the last words were prayers, God is great, and the plane crashed. We also heard from the Indonesians that on the day before, that very same aircraft had the same problem, and there was a third pilot in the jump seat who was hitching a ride. There were reports that he's the one who told the two pilots to shut off the system. The Indonesians dispute that, saying that the three of them worked together, but they did what Boeing says is the procedure if the system inadvertently or incorrectly kicks in, which is to shut it off. There are two switches between the two pilots that shut off the system, and then you can fly the plane manually. Meanwhile, we are hearing from Ethiopia that the investigators from the United States and Europe are still working with the investigators there. It's unclear whether or not the Europeans and the U.S. investigators have the raw data from the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder. And that's really important so that they can run the analysis to figure out was that second crash actually related to the first. We know there are similarities in the flight pattern, but is it because of the same reason? Is it that anti-stall system that kicked in? Now, the fallout continues, as I mentioned, all the investigations, and Boeing actually yesterday reshuffled its executives uh, in the engineering department, three changes because of the 737 crashes as Boeing continues to deal with this. More on the investigation in the days to come. We're hoping something comes from Ethiopia here before the end of the week that tells us one way or the other. Are these crashes related? Is there a problem with the plane, or is this an issue of pilot error?